I'm Michael Butler. I'm with NCT Ventures here in town. We're a local Columbus, Ohio based and focused uh, venture capital firm working in the uh, technology uh, B2B, B2C space. We are fortunate enough to be involved with uh, both versions of 10X at this point. I work very closely with the accepted team. Uh, ultimately from there, from an introduction with the accepted team, we ultimately made an investment in the accepted team and I'm actually on their board and an investor and an advisor, work pretty closely with them on a weekly basis and they're having great success so far. The other team that we worked closely with was the uh, e-funeral team out of the Cleveland area. Uh, we worked very closely with Mike Belsito and Brian Chaikin. Uh, they were very hardworking individuals, used the office space quite a bit, so I had a, quite a bit of opportunity to uh, spend time with them and see them. I gave them some ideas along the way, um, helped respond to some of the things they were doing. Uh, they were uh, very diligent folks, uh, probably, probably one of the most uh, hardworking teams, at least from what I could see, uh, in the first group. In the second session, we've worked with a couple of teams so far. Uh, the Side Now group that's developed a uh, fantastic Facebook app for social debating is a, uh, is a team that uh, we spent probably the most time with. Uh, the entrepreneur is a very engaging young man and his team, uh, team member uh, is uh, fantastic as well. Um, we spent some time with them, advising them you know, different ways to uh, think about how to distribute the program, which is really the, the task that's now in front of them now that 10X is out, uh, how to gain some distribution, some foothold, um, how to think about the revenue model going forward, and uh, we expect great things from them in the future. Uh, the Zoop Shop folks, the folks that came in from Singapore, uh, a fantastic group who's developed just a simple, um, very easy to use e-commerce capability. It can be added to a lot of sites uh, by, uh, by a relative novice, it appears. Other group that we worked with is the Rooftop Down uh, organization that's involved in uh, home management and really possession management as it relates to uh, registries, warranties, uh, maintenance, uh, upkeep, things like that. NCT's focus is really very Columbus based, very Columbus specific and we've chosen that for a reason. We think there's huge opportunity here in Columbus and we're very excited about 10X, the first two versions or two sessions of it, but we're very excited about where this can go in the future, how that ecosystem continues to grow and build. Um, you know, as many sessions as probably we could hold, they'd be able to accommodate with a number of great startups that are coming out of the creativity out of Ohio State, uh, OSU Hospital, Battelle, other great uh, technology centers here in Columbus. Um, our fund is specifically focused on trying to bring some venture capital to some of those initiatives. We think it's a great place to be. We think our money will be uh, well invested and uh, well returned to our investors by really sticking close to home. Uh, we like to have a very hands-on approach working with the firms that we work with and ultimately uh, we hope take them to a positive exit. Uh, my name is Brooke Paul. I'm a serial entrepreneur that's located in Columbus, Ohio. Moved here about five years ago. Currently working with Founders Factory. Founders Factory is a local angel fund, a business accelerator, and product design and development team. And we bring together both capital, uh, business expertise, and uh, product capability to accelerate the growth of startup companies in the Central Ohio region. Been involved in 10X for the last year and a half uh, as a mentor and advisor. I've worked with several of the teams during 10X1 back in summer of 11. I worked with Flare Code, which is a group of journalism students that had a really great idea around aggregating and presenting content on a cross-platform mechanism across the internet. They did very well during the program managed to raise a quarter million dollars in capital and are currently active and working hard in Athens, Ohio. I also had the opportunity to work with the Accepted team. Uh, they have a great platform for video management of applications to higher education and currently working with them on their technology platform as well as their sales initiatives. They're growing rapidly and have uh, been invested in uh, by Founders Factory, NCT Ventures, as well as Tech Columbus here locally. Looking ahead for the next group of startups, uh, it looks like each class seems to keep getting better. We great, get uh, great energetic people that have fantastic ideas. Uh, and the bigger challenge is actually going through the selection process and trying to narrow it down to the 10 best ideas. And I think Columbus is a great place to have a technology startup because uh, it's full of great resources and a wonderful community that uh, wants to support, not just in the central Ohio region, but across the whole state. Uh, we have uh, great early stage capital access capabilities with a number of angel funds and follow-on pre-seed funds to help fuel the business. 
and we have lots of great resources due to the proximity to Ohio State, University of Cincinnati, Ohio University, CCAD, Franklin University, the list goes on and on. Lots of young talent to really help fuel growth in a capital efficient and down home Midwestern startup location. I think it's a, an amazing time to be part of the startup community in Ohio in general and Central Ohio specifically because there are all these resources that are coming together to really accelerate businesses, identify the best business opportunities, get them funded, get their products built and get them into market. Uh, my name is Mike Blackwell. I'm the CEO and founder of Gruva, which is a super rapid prototyping and web design firm where people can create uh, prototypes. Uh, our goal is to help them create prototypes that inspire people. I've really been involved in the startup community within the last uh, five years. Uh, I've worked with the Ohio Tech Angel Fund. I'm a member of actually the Ohio Tech Angel Fund. I'm a former entrepreneur in residence uh, at Tech Columbus. I um, was the founder and CEO of Vacation View, um, and I am currently the founder and CEO at Gruva, and previously was the former CEO and creator of Share This, which is the little green button that you see on sort of web on a million websites. So I worked with the uh, various 10x groups. Um, we created a tool so that the 10x group could rapidly prototype uh, a lot of their products. Uh, some of the companies and uh, ended up using our tool. We codenamed the tool Frankenware. Some of the companies that ended up using that tool were MorphCard. Uh, I think uh, SideNow actually used it. Uh, I actually then met with just regarding their product plans and storyboards. Uh, other companies like Zoop Shop and Tack and uh, Morph Card and LifeScribe. We spent most of our time really with a few companies, Zoop Shop in particular, helping them really determine some of their product plans. Zoop Shop uh, makes a syndicatable store and then make it possible for that to be syndicated to lots of other uh, locations and platforms like Facebook, uh, Tumblr, and some other places as well. I'm looking to see companies that have great product vision, um, really people who can execute on a vision. I'm looking for companies also that can help grow the startup community in Columbus and the Midwest, and companies that take direction well from uh, mentors, and finally companies that are people who are really hungry, hungry to can succeed. We're really interested, or we're big fans of the lean startup approach, and it's really extraordinary how you can create value with less, especially in the Midwest, which is a good segue into why Columbus. It's what you can do with Columbus uh, that you can't do in other parts of the, the country that is exceptional. In Columbus, um, you know, $20,000 goes a long way to create really a viable product. We have seen people create extraordinary value for in very short amount of time and very little money. And re the reason why is because there is an exceptional set of mentors who are very approachable in the, in the community, as well as uh, the university and there are several universities um, are, you know, where um, there's a strong base of, of learning that is going on and that feed the community. So we're seeing um, some substantial momentum in the startup community. We're, it, we're getting better access to funding, uh, which really gives a higher probability to get to the next level of funding in the Midwest when your product begins to create value and you want to move to the next level or increase your marketing. Hi, I'm Victor Thorne. I'm one of the mentors for the 10X program. My background involves entrepreneurship and investing. I, Started a business uh, about 11 years ago, a software company focused on supply chain tools to solve some inefficiencies in the food service system, and ended up uh, starting the business, bootstrapped, uh, liquidated every asset I had, raised friends and family money, then uh, launched the business, raised real capital, got venture capital funds involved, and uh, luckily, we were fortunate enough to have a technology that was adopted and, and sold the business to some institutional investors uh, about six years after we started it. I'm here in Columbus now working with the Ohio Tech Angel Funds, Tech Columbus, the Columbus Partnership, 
Columbus 2020. The list goes on. I also have an investment firm of my own called Broadline Capital uh, that's invested in technology companies in China, the West Coast, the East Coast, and Ohio. The, the, there's a beautiful ecosystem here in, in Columbus that really generates a high level of energy uh, around startups and, and early stage technology. There are tremendous resources that are provided by the state of Ohio, the city of Columbus, and the, the suburbs around central Ohio. The standard of living here is very attractive for young startups that have uh, very little cash to work with, um, which can go a lot farther here than, than many other places that have vibrant communities like this. You also look at the companies here, like Cardinal Health, uh, Scott's miracle Grow, Nationwide, Financial, and uh, American Electric Power, Limited Brands. We're a very diverse community with companies whose executives are engaged with what we're doing. Uh, they're very open to being a part of the ecosystem and providing support and becoming early customers and beta customers of our technology. I got involved with 10X because I could feel the, the need to bring together all of these resources into one system uh, that really brings the uh, environment uh, together where we have a fluid motion. We have the ideas brought by entrepreneurs and people with great ideas, and we have the financial support from both the state and private uh, and, and public-private partnership um, investors. And then we have the experienced entrepreneurs and, and, and resources that can fill management teams and, and really efficiently get uh, great ideas turned into fast-growing companies. Uh, I worked with a company called Accepted. Accepted, uh, Don and Derek were, were recent uh, college grads that were, were ready to go and, and high energy, great idea. Uh, our partners in the community surrounded them with resources and, and uh, some experienced management uh, support and technical support. And they're off and running, and, and Tech Columbus, which is one of the firms that I'm connected with, uh, provided initial funding support along with, with one of our partners in the community that really rolled up their sleeves. Uh, one of the companies uh, in the current round, One Exchange Street, actually moved here from Chicago. I uh, worked closely with them to help refine their plan, and they've raised, they've collected over a million dollars in direct an in-kind investment from strategic investors and, and financial investors. Tech Columbus is also committed. Uh, I'm very happy that I'll be continuing on with that team as a member of their board of directors and as an advisor. But uh, when you look at every one of these companies, there, there are connections and resources and partnerships that are, that are made and formed that prior to the existence of an accelerator program like this, uh, would be very, very difficult to put together. And the fact that we're a very open and collaborative environment here in Columbus makes it a perfect place to start a business and get this initial support from an accelerator program like the 10X.